Well, hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to my update number three on my very first saltwater aquarium. Uh, I had uh, done my water testing earlier, and I should have uh, I should have uh, videotaped the results. But uh, just to go over them really quickly, this is uh, day number fifteen, going into week number three, and uh, my ammonia level today was uh, zero or. Uh, undetectable on the test kit and my nitrate level was around two parts per million so uh, happy with those um, those results uh, an update for my tank um, I've added two more fishes uh, two days ago so right now I have a total of five the first uh, fish I added which was uh, over a week ago it was probably towards the end of week number one I added was a, a ras and uh, I'm not sure where he went he's hiding right now I think uh, that was the first fish. Uh, the second and the third fish that I added uh, was the uh, the kole tang. Oh, there it is right there, the kole tang. Oh, and there's the ras. So that uh, that ras in the corner and was the first fish. And the second was that kole tang, the, the dark one with the yellow eye, and the lawnmower blenny, which I think is hiding somewhere. So that was the the second and the third fish and about two days ago actually two days ago I added my last two fish my latest two fish that blue one right there I'm embarrassed to say I forgot uh, what kind of fish that is and the other one was uh, that uh, lemon uh, angel fish so those two were the the uh, the last two fish so total of five since two days ago and uh, uh, earlier my ammonia level this morning I tested was uh, was uh, zero um, so I'm really glad so far, it looks like my tank is, is handling the, the, the load pretty good. I'm going to continue testing my ammonia nitrates to make sure they don't get out of whack. And I'm really glad that my, uh, my nitrate level also has stayed low. Uh, you know, uh, as an update, I did one water change a week ago for 25% of my water volume, about 15 gallons. And that helped out a little bit with the nitrates. But another thing I think helped with my nitrate level, which I forgot to mention in the last video, was that I, I I've been doing carbon dosing for about a little over a week, a week now, and uh, I've been using vinegar, uh, 1.5 milliliters almost daily. Whenever uh, whenever I work, sometimes I, I forget to to do the dosing, so so I missed a few days uh, in that uh, in that week's time, but uh, but you know mostly I've been doing 1.5 milliliters daily. And I saw my nitrate levels drop from I I'm not sure it was uh, it was on the higher end of the test kit, and now you can see uh, well well I didn't tape the results but they were uh, they were about two parts per million today so so I'm happy with the results of that much of the vinegar so I'm gonna I haven't done any complicated titrations or anything uh, with the vinegar dosing I've just uh, did the 1.5 milliliters uh, every day uh, once a day and. Uh, you know that's it. I haven't. I've saw. I've seen the nitrates level slowly and consistently uh, decrease. Oh, well, there he is, the blenny. And uh, and so because of that, because I've seen the nitrate level decrease, and even now it's like at a point where I'm happy with the results. It's around two two parts per million. So I think that's pretty low. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna change the dosing. Uh, you know, and I didn't have to titrate it up or down. So I'm gonna keep it at that. I continue to do it daily. And I'm gonna monitor closely my ammonia. I'm gonna monitor closely my uh, nitrate levels. And uh, if it does go down to where I can't detect any nitrates, I'm probably gonna ease up on the the vinegar because I don't want to overdose, you know, that. Uh, and uh, you know, but I don't want my my nitrates to to go up either. So, so I'm gonna right now keep it at 1.5 milliliters and keep an eye on my nitrate level and uh, titrate accordingly, you know, according to that those results. So. Um, yeah, so I'm very happy with the results of my tank so far. Oh, the other thing you notice right off, right off when you look at it is that the diatoms have gone away, or or mostly. I mean, they're going away. You know, they've come along really nicely compared to about a week ago. If you look at the past, the other videos, there's you know some discoloration on the sand bed still where the diatoms have uh, are still there in parts, and uh, there's some diatoms left there on that rock there, and um, you know some there and on the glass in the bag where I didn't clean it too well but and that uh, that piece of coral uh, skeleton right there so you know but overall like if you look at that rock right there it's really really cleaned up a lot even in the little crevices and holes that rock there also also that rock you know and and this rock 
you know, so I'm happy with the, with the, what has come along so far. I think I owe it to, you know, keeping my nitrate lo levels low with that one water exchange, one water change, and uh, you know, using the carbon dosing. Uh, I plan to do another water change later on, later on this week. Uh, also, I think uh, I owe, you know, the cleanup of the diatoms to my cleanup crew, especially the Kole tank right there. You can see them nibbling away still yet at the diatoms. And the other one too is the uh, lawnmower, uh, the Blenny, wherever he went to. But uh, he he's also been you know nibbling away at, at the diatom. So so I'm glad that they're they're really helping out a lot. Uh, you know I, I know that they tend to be more uh, vegetarian on a vegetarian type diet. So over here I got for them you know in case I don't have any algae forming and all the diatoms disappear, I don't want them to go hungry. So I did get this supplement here, uh, seaweed. So uh, I'm gonna you know add that to the tank once in a while to try and feed them, feed my more uh, my more vegetarian kinds of fish. You know don't want them to get hungry if the diatoms disappear. You know I'm not sure what the next step is. I think I'm expecting because I have the tank next to a window in a kind of a brightly lit room. I'm expecting that there are probably uh, other forms of algae you know forming, which I think is if it's not out of control or anything that's really super undesirable. I don't think that would necessarily be a bad thing. I, I'm, you know, as long as it's not unsightly or, or harms anything, because you know that that'll provide food for the tang and for the blenny. So I'm thinking that's one positive aspect of have, having some form of algae. So and I probably I, that's why I probably wouldn't want to keep my nitrates at zero. Um, you know, I don't know. I'm just thinking that you know. Um, um, yeah, so maybe I can have some form of algae for some of the more vegetarian-like fish, I guess. But yeah, but I'm, I'm glad, I'm happy with how, how my tank has come along so far. Um, also, uh, going back a little bit, the water change that I did, I, I, you know, I've been using uh, seawater straight from the Pacific. I live in Hawaii, so you know, I get it free. I don't have to mix salt uh, or anything like that, so so I'll save a lot of money there. But, uh, but I think that's helping with my uh, nitrate levels, keeping that low by doing the water exchange along with the carbon dosing. Also, um, also with the calcium and the magnesium level. When I tested my calcium and magnesium a few days ago, maybe about three, three days ago, um, my magnesium was at 1440, around 1400, 1440 for my magnesium. And my calcium was actually around 400 or 440, around there. So pretty good levels for my calcium and magnesium. And I haven't used any supplements, just natural seawater. So, you know, so I'm happy with, uh, with, the, with what's, uh, what the, the makeup is, you know. My, my water parameters. The only thing that's a little low is my uh, my alkalinity, my DKH. I measured that this morning along with my pH. So my pH is around 8.2 and my alkalinity is um, it was 6, uh, 6.5 if I read the, 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 um, the test uh, correctly. Uh, it took about six drops then when I uh, did the additional drop it went uh, it went on to the overdose color on the test card I used the red C test kit so uh, so I read it at six and a half uh, the DKH on my alkalinity so that's a little bit on the lower side I think for what's recommended for a reef tank um, but uh, but right now I don't think that's gonna pro pose a problem because I have no coral you know or any kind of invertebrates I think that would use up uh, use up the alkalinity and uh, you know, by doing the water exchange, still even with my nitrates low, I, you know, I still want to do water exchanges, um, kind of regularly, just so that I could replace trace trace elements. I don't have to worry about supplementing calcium or magnesium eventually if I do have uh, some things in the tank that will take up those nutrients. So you know, I, I plan on uh, not only keeping my nitrates low with the um, with the occasional carbon dosing, but also with uh, you know keeping my uh, trace elements calcium magnesium levels adequately stocked with uh, water changes with the uh, with natural seawater and um, you know I'm sure it has other beneficial effects on the tank you know I hope nothing uh, I hope uh, you know I hope that's the case by using natural seawater so yeah so uh, what else can I say for my update oh yes um, I did clean up the, the sock on the bottom over there the uh, socks and uh, Besides that, I also uh, cleaned out my protein skimmer earlier today, and it was actually had white, nice white foam. But now, after I added the uh, the vinegar this morning, a few about three, three and a half hours ago, it's got that nice uh, brownish one, 
brownish kind of foam. So I think it's picking up some of the bacteria, I guess, feeding off the uh, the vinegar. So I think that too is work. You know, that too the vinegar dosing is working. So on my skimmer there, my uh, SC Aquariums 301 skimmer. Yeah. So I'm. I'm uh, so yeah, so I'm happy with my parameters so far. Gonna keep an eye on my still, you know, I still want to keep an eye on my ammonia, just in case, and uh, just in case I overstock my my tank because I did add like five fish already, and I'm only going into week number three, and um, beginning week number three, and my diatoms have died off. You know, I was amazed that it did so so quickly, in 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 the cycle. And maybe if it does stay down, if my algae, if I don't have any kind of algae uh, algae problems. I, I want to. I'm probably thinking about adding invertebrates. I know it's only been about three weeks, but you know, I think uh, I want to try see if uh, my tank, if it's appropriate. Uh, you know, please comment if you what what you feel on the subject. It's only been about three weeks right now, but you know, parameters looking pretty good. You know, and everything seems to be coming along nicely. I definitely do want to add an anemone at some point and a clownfish. Uh, see if my tank can handle that and. Um, for, as for the invertebrates, right, what I have, or, uh, you know, what I have right now for my cleanup crew, I have my sea cucumber there. You can see him there, and I have uh, my hermit crab who's there. I think he's resting right now, and I got three snails. Though I don't know where the where the three snails went. They're around somewhere. Oh, there's the lawnmower right there. Oh, he disappeared. Uh, right there. There he is. Uh, so um, so yeah. So I'll probably hopefully I, you know I can I I'll try and look for some other creatures that can help turn over the sand bed. You know, get get those uh, nitrogen um, gases uh, bubbles, uh, you know, out of the sand bed. It's been stuck there for a while. I think you need something to help turn over the sand. Um, I guess I think that's about it for my update. I'll continue to test my parameters. Hopefully, in the next video. Well, let me focus. Hopefully, in the next video, you'll uh, be able to see my tank uh, continue to be clean. Maybe not too much algae. I hope. Hopefully, not another diatom bloom. And. Um, uh, you know, hopefully you'll see other invertebrates in my next update. Okay. Thanks a lot for watching my update guys